so the kit I brought out is, I, I would consider this like a lightweight scouting, uh, quick trip kind of thing. Um, it's a, it's the Heel Contex, um, it's their fanny pack, I think it's the Foxtrot or Wombat, I don't know, they got some weird designations, but that's the bag. And then what's cool about it is, it's a traditional lumbar type pack, but um, hooked up this Condor harness to it to give it some padding, give it some shoulder straps, but then also I can add the hydration bladder. Um, right now, I just got my kukri in here, which I'm not going to be using, um, and then added some water bottle pouches to the sides, to the belt, because they're molly, um, and that gives me some options for carrying more water, because I like to have canteens on top of hydration systems because bladders fail, they break, they leak. Um, but if you want to carry a lot of water and you're moving long distance through the woods, you need a lot of water, especially in weather like this. So I've got two 32 ounce Nalgene's. That's a pretty typical setup for me as a Nalgene. I do like the canteens, military issue canteens or the Nalgene Oasis canteens. Those work really well, but these 32 ounce now jeans are pretty awesome. This, these are the lightweight ones. They're kind of flexible. They're not hard. They're not the Lexan. So they're softer, they're lighter. And then what I do for my cut kit for this particular bag, because it's so small, I have to be really kind of judicious with my space. I've got a titanium cup that sets at the bottom and that nests within that, in that bottle. Um, this is uh, Wild Camping International is the brand. Uh, I've worked with those guys for many years and they make a really quality titanium cup. Um, what I've done is it has a bale that you can add to it and I've taken the bale off so I can store that in the pouch. So I got my lid. Got my bale, and then for a kit like this, I don't have a lot of room to carry a ton of food, so I make up my own little. I don't know. I guess I would call it like a mini MRE, but this is all stuff that I got at the store. Um, super inexpensive, um, easy, readily available. So I've got ramen just for some carbs. Um, not a lot of nutritional value with these, so I want to add some protein. So there's some pulled pork barbecue. So I'll add that to the ramen. And then um, I always carry in all my gear um, the hydration multipliers from Liquid IV. Add these to a bottle of water and they're gonna help you if you're getting dehydrated and plus they taste good. So if you're filtering water or putting um, tabs in your water to, to treat it, this will help with the taste. And of course, coffee, um, hot sauce. Always have to have hot sauce to add to my to my food. And then just a couple options. Usually carry some type of meat stick. Uh, that's just a Jack Lynx. So just stuff I can pick up at the store. Really not a big deal. It doesn't have to be an elaborate meal, especially if I'm if I'm moving a lot. I don't want to be weighed down with a lot of food, and you don't need as much food as you would think especially in the summertime when there's, there's heat like this. Um, water's way more important. Um, and you can get away with some small snacks. Um, adding things like peanut butter and tortillas uh, is another good option. They're lightweight and they can press down pretty well. And then for my stove, this is a tried and true Esbit stove. This is, um, this is German issue. This is an old one. I've had this for many, many, many years, used it quite a bit. It's the actual uh, Bund designation on it. Um, so Esbit tabs in themselves, um, people have different varying degrees of success with them. I've, I, they're all right for me. I've not had too many problems. Sometimes they don't boil a cup of water depending on the conditions. Sometimes you have to add an extra tab. I've also thrown in twigs underneath with the tab to extend the fire. But um, a couple other options that I brought out 
that you don't have to use the ESBIT tabs. There are other um, different fuel sources available commercially. So this is the Duraflame fire starter. You get, you know, get these in like the hardware section where the fire pits are at. So people will use these to start their fire pits. They work pretty good. Um, and then also, um, another brand that I'm not sure if they even make these anymore. They, they might. These are the, the Kuglins fuel tabs. Um, I haven't really tried these yet, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually light all three of these up and burn them and see which one burns the longest. All right, so I'm going to just run a test on these three head-to-head. -head. I've never really done this, but I thought it would be a good demonstration for people who are trying to figure out what kind of solid fuel tabs they want to run in their stoves. And you don't have to use them with an SBIT stove. There's a lot of other different types of stoves out there, um, like the canteen stands, like the other fellows were showing. Those work really well with those. Um, the nice thing about the Esbits are the stoves themselves, because they're so low that the flame is really close. Of course, that Duraflame is putting out a lot more flame, but as you notice, it's putting out a lot more smoke. And that is um, a big no-go um, if you're trying to be stealthy, hide your position, you don't want people to know what you're doing. Um, that's gonna alert people to your to your whereabouts. So if I had this, to be, I would definitely wanna be in a safe spot. That Duraflame is really kicking out the fire. So, I mean, you know, as an emergency fire starter, it's awesome. That's what you want. But uh, to cook on with the smoke, it may not work. Of course, the Esbit um, puts out very little smoke at all, if none. Um, it smells a little bit more. And then that Kuglin's tab is very similar to the Esbit. I think it's pretty similar makeup as far as what it's made of. But you don't have as a, a big a flame. It's a smaller tab, so I mean, you, I would definitely probably do two or three tabs in an Esbit tray. I forgot to do what I forgot to do is try one of these new tabs and Bear gave me this and he just got these off of Amazon and I'll put a um, I'll put the name down below in the caption these are quite a much bigger than ones and I would say they're close to the Esbit in size. It's a different shape. See how that's going. Yeah, that's so that's another smokeless option. I think these are probably some kind of Esbit knockoff, like another company's making them just like the Kuglins is. And I can tell already that's putting out much more flame than the Esbit. 
S bit. S bit. That's a bigger flame, it's taller. All right, so that's pretty much burned out. And that is right around the same time as the S-Bit, a little bit longer, it's like 17 minutes, 18 minutes. The Kuglins was right around 12, and then that Duraflame, uh, that went much longer. That was close to, probably close to 20 minutes, I think.